Again, the International Skin Tear Panel recommends silicone dressings. They're atraumatic, they're flexible, they're conformable. They will allow for fluid management because it'll go through onto the secondary dressing. We're okay to change the secondary dressing. Just don't disturb the primary for five to seven days. Allow it to take effect. You want them to be low, uh, low allergy dressings. And again, the only way sometimes you'll find that out is if the patient wears it. So just keep an eye on it. Saves nursing time. That's when it becomes cost effective. A dressing is only cost effective. Like I said, it's the icing on the cake if you do a good assessment at the end. We then become cost effective to our organisations and our organisation says, oh, your budget's going down because we're putting products on and we're leaving them in situ for a sustained period of time. 